Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm live from Gloucester and today we will be looking at our topic which explain the meaning and make sentences with these three words, abate, abdicate and aberration. Um, so I'm looking forward to hearing what um, words you've come up with and what sentences you've come up with. Um, so let's start off with Ananya. Ananya, can you please um, introduce yourself, tell us a bit about your day, and then move on to today's topic. Yes, Christine. Hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Ananya, and I'm currently posing my MBA from Mithpai Business School, Hyderabad, and also interning with LWT Academy, Kolkata. And my day was normal. Uh, I wasn't, wasn't really feeling well since the morning, but yeah, I'm okay right now. Uh, so it's just kind of a dizziness in head and nothing else. So yeah, um, I did my work, came back to room, had had rest, and now just heading back to gym to do the workout. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Um, so what do these words mean? So let's start from abate. What, what does abate mean? Okay, so a bit uh, as far as I uh, first thing that these three words are really new to me. I didn't even know the meaning of these three words. It's just uh, when you come across some text, you just get to know, okay, this word exists. So yeah, it's a good idea. Uh, anyway, uh, a bit uh, usually means, uh, you know, lessening down the power or some strength or um, something like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So I think uh, that might be the appropriate uh, one, uh, if I'm not wrong. So, yes, yeah, so abate is, yes, to, to lessen, to make less powerful. Um, okay. But, okay, so so to make something less intense. Okay. okay. So uh, with uh, related to abate, I have written a sentence, uh, which is uh, nothing can abate me from the uh, feeling of restlessness uh, um, in me uh, whenever I have anxiety attack. It's kind of it uh, nothing can strengthen down my uh, feeling of restlessness when I have the anxiety attack. So I think that this might relate to the word abate. Yes, very good. So nothing can abate the feeling of restlessness I have when I have an anxiety attack. Very good. Right. Very importantly, abate is also, um, we are talking about lessening and easing off, but we're also talking about something that's unpleasant. Um, so lessening something unpleasant. It doesn't mean, for example, to lessen something that's, that, that, that's you know, that's great, that's positive. Abate okay. has this negative connotation and uh, with, with something that is quite unpleasant or severe. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Christine, can you just give me one sentence uh, with uh, the negative connotation kind of? For example, the storm suddenly abated. So, storm is quite unpleasant. Okay. It suddenly okay. abated. Okay. It became okay. less intense. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So, yeah, next we have abdicate, uh, which means uh, re-announcing the throne or undertaking something or giving away the power. I think that's the meaning of uh, abdicate. Yes, but not re-announcing. It's called renouncing. Re renouncing, yes. Re and uh, so the, uh, the sentence which I formed is, in some culture, abdication in monarchy is seen to be the abandonment of royal duty. But in some other cultures, abdication was just a routine element of uh, su uh, successing your uh, power. So I think uh, that meant... Of succession. Yeah, succession. Yeah, right. Okay, so you used abdication. Abdication is the noun. Yes. Okay, good, good. Abdicate is the verb. So try and use the verb. So for example, uh, the king abdicated... Abdicated the throne, kind of. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, good. Very good. Um, yeah. And the last one, aberration. Aberration. Aberration, uh, according to me, is diverging uh, from uh, one, the original path to something else. It means, mm -hmm. uh, basically, it means diver, uh, diversion from the original path or distraction from the original path. So, yes. uh, so I have that thing. I get distracted very easily. Not very easily, but yes, uh, often, quite often. So I don't take pride in it, but yes, sometimes I do. So I had written uh, the sentence, I often have mental ab aberration and forget about important things. So yeah, that's how it is. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, does mental ab aberration, uh, you know, it makes sense. Uh, you know, I have diversification kind of that distraction so yeah 
Okay, good, excellent. Um, well done, well done. Uh, so let's, let's have a little look at uh, what Shivangi says now. So Shivangi, yes. can you please introduce yourself, tell us a bit about your day, and then move on to today's question. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So am I audible? Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. So my name is Shivangi Raj and currently I'm pursuing my MBA from Ikfai Business School, Hyderabad. And my day was pretty normal. I went to office, did our work and came back. And uh, after this meeting, I'll go to gym. And coming to today's question, uh, firstly, a bait. I think it means to reduce, as you said, to reduce the degree of degree or intensity or to become less strong. Like mm -hmm. uh, if we use it in a sentence, it can be uh, we must abate the noise in our big cities. Like there is so much noise pollution in uh, big cities. So we can abate it by taking some precautions. So in my personal view, it, it is to reduce in degree or intensity or to become less uh, strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, next is uh, abdicate, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I think abdicate means to fail to do what is required. Uh, it can be a duty or a responsibility that we took. And uh, uh, the sentence can be... Um, uh, I may uh, abdicate in some of my responsibilities towards my family. It can be a sentence like I may fail in some of my responsibility towards the family that I have. And uh, next is abbreviation. Aberration. Uh, aberration. Aberration. Uh, that means uh, a temporary change from the usual way of behaving. Or it can be uh, departing from the right or normal or the usual way we uh, behave. Mm -hmm. So uh, the sentence, I think, can be sometimes I may be abrient uh, the right. Uh, I may be abrient uh, from the right or normal uh, behavior that I pursue and I uh, go on a wrong path. So that can also be a sentence. Aberrate, aberrate, aberrate. So, aberrate, because aberration is the noun, okay? So I aberrate, okay? Yeah. But, yeah. Ab but aberrate, um, so ab aberrate, to, to diverge, okay? So I aberrate from, from, from the norm, okay? And what about, can you give me your sentence for, ab um, for abdicate once more? Um, abdicate, uh, I may abdicate in some of my responsibilities towards the family, like uh, fail to do the required responsibility. Yes. yes. Okay. I, I abdicate to, um, I abdicate in, in some of my responsibilities in, 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 in my family. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Shibangi. Thank you, Christine. You're welcome. Okay. Next we have Aksha. Hi, Aksha. Hi, ma'am. Good evening. Hi, Aksha. Um, I'm good, thank you. Um, Aksha, can you please introduce yourself, tell us a bit about your day and move on to today's topic. So, I'm myself, Aksha. I'm currently pursuing my MBA from Ikra Business School and doing internship with LWT Academy. So, yeah, today was a normal day. Mm, had office and came back and had a nap. So, yeah, that's all about the day. So, about the question. So, a bit is uh, the meaning, uh, I think it is decreasing or less intense of any uh, thing. So, as you said, I will take the example of uh, now it is going, uh, summer is going on. So, uh, when, wait a second. So, a bit, uh, so the storm began to uh, abate. You said that the storm began yes. to abate the wind. Uh, so the summer, uh, sorry, <laughs> I will frame another sentence. It will be the same one which you gave an example. Uh -huh. Okay, so the, the storm began to abate. Okay. So I will uh, say, so it is summer here. So I will change to that. So after the long summer, uh, 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 rain abated the he heat of uh, heat. 
so the summer got less intense. Okay, okay. The rain abated the the heat the from the long heat. summer. Okay. Yeah. So abdicate. Uh, it is like giving out the position or uh, a power to uh, power. So I will say my manager uh, abdicate his po current position in the office. Uh -huh. uh, okay, my so, manager abdicated his position at the office. Good. Yeah. So abrasion. So abrasion is uh, what uh, uh, meaning is uh, different or diverse, diverse or deviating from the normal uh, thing which a person is used to do. So uh -huh. I will say the uh, poor performance or uh, in my poor performance in exam every, uh, was an abrasion from my uh, usual high standard performance. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. So, so the ab the aberration from it. Sorry, it's an aberration from your usual high high yeah. performance. Good. Good. Okay. Well done, Aksha. Thank really, you. really good. Okay, next we'll move on to Lijol. Hi, Lijol. Hello, Christine. Good evening. Uh, okay. uh, hello. So, I'm Lijol Mahapaz, born and born up in Odisha, currently posted in 1952, and uh, coming to the question of the day, like the three words. The very first one that I would like to go with is uh, aberration, so which uh, generally getting distracted from the normal path or something that is not usual and uh, no, no, not a um, normal or as expected uh, so the sentence i see in this is uh, due to the political changes happening in sri lanka the economy is go uh, is being um aberrated um, can you repeat that please uh due to the major political changes happening in Sri Lanka, the economy is, uh, is, uh, I'm sorry, uh, is an aberration. Is an is aberration. Okay. Uh, is, is going, uh, is an aberration. Okay. So it's not normal. It's not usual. It's not expected. It is mm -hmm. aberrated from the path of normalcy. Okay, good, good. Okay, move to abdicate now. Abdicate. Uh, so abdicate um, is more like, uh, you know, renounce or, you know, fulfill or take or take up of responsibility. Mm -hmm. I was actually having a hard time. Abdicate, step down, okay. Uh, okay, an example of that? Yeah, I'm just uh, thinking of us. I, I have to keep uh, unable to pay the rent. The the, the renter asks, sorry, the owner asks the renter to abdicate from the building. Will it just go mm -hmm. there? No, because that you mean he asks us right? to leave the building. So, yeah. so because we couldn't pay the rent, the owner asked us to abdicate the building. Mm, that, that, no, oh. that's not the correct word. Okay, but maybe, uh, okay, let me try another one. Can we say, um, due to the change, changes in the party's, uh, due to change in the uh, party's opinion, the prime minister was asked to abdicate from the office. Like, you know, renounce it or, you know, uh, ask to step down from it. So can you, can, can, you, can you repeat that, please? Uh, so, um, due to the changes in the political scenarios of the country, the Prime Minister was asked to abdicate from the position. Yes, he was asked to abdicate his position. That makes sense. Yes, very good. I'm just going in prompt to right now. I did not make any sense. So, yeah. And the last one is uh, abate. 
which means you know less intense or the um, okay um mm-hmm. last one yeah <laughs> just a minute i can just think of something um I'm actually getting hard time in uh, making the sentence from this. Then uh, let me try something. Huh? We waited till his anger abated to discuss the further course of actions to be taken. Huh? Okay. Oh, uh, we. Uh, I'll repeat again. We. Uh, we waited till his anger abated to have a for like further course. So sorry, to have a discussion for the further course of action to be taken. Yes. Okay. So his anger abated. Yes. Good. Good. Anger. Sorry I'm for sorry asking to you to repeat, but I just wanted to to see the the words to make no, sure yeah, that I'm, I'm hearing the words clearly. <laughs> I I just fell on it all in some too, so I had to think of the sentence. <laughs> That's okay. Good. Okay. Well done, Lizzo. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Next we have Gayathri. Hi, Gayathri. Hi, Christine. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Gayatri. Gayatri, can you please introduce yourself? Tell us a bit about your day and uh, then move on to today's questions. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Gayatri Raju and I'm from Kerala. Uh, currently pursuing my uh, MBA from Ikpai Business School. And uh, as of now, I'm interning with LWT under the guidance of Vishal, sir. And uh, my day was pretty normal. Uh, so uh, I had Monday blues today. Yesterday it was weekend. So we uh, we enjoyed a lot. So today you know, I was a bit lazy to get up and go to work. Then it was all normal day. Daily routines of work. Uh, yeah, that's it. Then I came back. I had tea. Uh, now just relaxing. Uh, that's all about today. Okay. Excellent. So can you move on to today's question? Yeah, uh, so um, the meaning of three words in sentence, right? So uh, um, the ab abate, uh, what I, I mean, when I've searched, this is what I got. So abate is to, uh, to reduce or to remove something or to make it less, uh, to make the intensity less, or to make it less intense. So this is the meaning that I've got. So okay, to, to uh, make it into a sentence, or uh, maybe I can say like, if you are sad, and uh, if I want to make happy, I can I can say like, okay, I'll give you an ice cream tomorrow to uh, to abate your sadness. Which means to to. Mm, to make mm -hmm. it to make you happy or mm -hmm. to make it less intense, to make you less sad, maybe. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, and uh, the next word is um, uh, abdicate. Okay. Uh, so abdicate is uh, to uh, to give up on your position. And normally, I have heard this word. Uh, uh, the king giving up his throne to the heir. Maybe uh, the king is abdicating his position uh, as uh, as the king. So, for example, if I'm saying like I'm the captain of the school, and uh, so I can say like uh, so I abdicate my position as captain. So it's like I'm I'm giving up on my position. Good. I'm, so that is uh, abdicate, and the third word is uh, aberration. Uh, so uh, aberration is the meaning is that um, something that deviates from normal. So uh, I, I I normally use this word anomaly. So I think anomaly must be a synonym of uh, aberration. That is something that is not normal, something that is uh, uh, so, so, uh, yeah, that deviates from normal. Yeah. So to make it into a sentence, uh, 
I can say that uh, her her uh, behave today her behavior uh, was an aberration uh, from the usual calmness or from the usual calm, which means that normally she was uh -huh. um, she's a calm person. Today, you know, due to some reason, she was behaving anomaly, which was not normal with her for her. Mm, she was not okay. So she was. Can can you give me the exact sentence using the word aberrate though? Yeah. So uh, today her Aber aberration. Sorry, aberration. Today her behavior was an aberration from the usual calm. Yes. Yes. Today her behavior was an aberration. Good. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Well done. Well done, Gayatri. Thank you, Christine. You're welcome. Okay, if you could stay on uh, for a till the end of the class, that would be great because I, I know some of uh, oh, some of the sure. other people dropped off. Um, so Sangram, because I'd like you now to comment on each um, on 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 your sentences, Sangram. Sangram, are you there? Okay, so Gayatri, can you tell me um, if you've heard any of, oh, and Sangram is not a network, okay, so we'll wait for him. Um, Gayatri, have you heard any of the other, other students' uh, sentences? Did you manage to get in? And uh, I have them? heard abdication, I have heard aberration, abate, I have a norm. I have heard, but I have norm, normally used it in the conversation. So from today onwards, I'll be using it because now I know the meaning. Fantastic, brilliant. But uh, did you get to hear any of the other students' sentences? I'm sorry, I joined a bit late. No, 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 that's why I'm asking. I wasn't sure whether you heard them because I thought you, you could maybe comment on them and what you thought um, uh, until we get Sangram. That's fine. Um, and what did you do? How did you go about finding these words? So uh, had you, which ones had you seen before? Which ones hadn't you seen? And how did you, how did you learn about what these words mean today? So I, uh, I, I actually Googled it. Uh, I have heard the words, but then uh, the words that we don't normally use it in the conversation uh, while we are talking, if you're not using, then even if I have heard or I might have read also, but then the meaning doesn't stay in the mind. I tend to forget the meaning. So uh, see, I have, I have heard all these words before also i've read it multiple times but then the meaning if you ask me suddenly a meaning which is a very well-known word i don't know because we we normally like we don't use such words in conversation uh -huh. so i have to google it so i googled it i got the meaning yeah and uh abdication uh, uh sorry it, yeah abdicate. Abdicate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got the meaning when I googled it, then I, I read a lot. I read a lot, many sentences, paragraphs, till that is, you know, by heart for me. Now, if you ask me like a week, uh, after a week, I don't think I'll forget this because uh, now I used a lot while speaking. Okay, good, good. And can you tell me um, what... Um, have you ever used use uh, uh, the, the thesaurus, what you do to find the exact, so what you do to find the meaning of, of a word, but what you do to relate it and to remember it? Have you ever, ever done that? Have you ever used a thesaurus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, what I normally do is I, uh, whenever, so I said no. Uh, so for example, um, aberration is something that does not uh, deviates from normal so for that i use the word anomaly mm -hmm. so i already have a word for that uh, which i use in place of this aberration so uh, anomaly also means uh, something that is not normal so i behave anomaly means i'm not behaving normally Okay. So uh, now maybe tomorrow onwards in, in place of anomaly, I'll start using this word okay. so that, you know, I, I don't forget it later on. Good, good. Excellent. Excellent. Well done, Gayatri. Thank you, Christine. Okay, Sangram, have you made it anywhere close yet? Sangram? No, 
no, not yet. Okay, so I'll move back to you, Gayathri. Um, so what ways have you found helpful uh, to learn to learn English? Sorry? What ways have you found really helpful to learn to learn English along the years? Okay, so um, so I'm someone who uh, reads a lot. Uh, I read books. I mean, majorly nonfiction. Uh, but then, yeah, I'm interested in um, all genre. Um, so that is really helpful, but not for speaking. I mean, mm -hmm. your writing ability, it's really helpful. The reading helps a lot. But then if you have to make your English fluent, then you really have to speak. It Only if you speak, then it's going to be fluent. So if, I have heard like a lot many people saying that, uh, you know, my English is fluent because I read a lot because I don't agree with that. If you read a lot, yeah, your English will be good. But then if your English needs to be fluent and the pronunciation to get it correct you have to speak and listen until you speak without fear because here in India like many people do not speak because you know the fear of making mistake and people teasing them and all so unless and until you do that uh, your English is not going to be fluent uh, so that is what you know I did once I was also very you know, taken back or I was very uh, hesitated to speak um, not now, uh, years ago. But then, then I got to know that, you know, that's not going to work for me because uh, in future, yeah, I, I need English maybe for interviews or anything. Yeah. Uh, so we say that India is a country where there are more than 300 languages. But then we are united by English only. So if I go from my state, my state, the language is different. It is Malayalam. So if I go to some other state, I don't know their language. So here, this is another state uh, that is Kolkata. So here it is Bengali. I mean, I don't know that language. So the medium is anyway English. So I should know English and I, I should know how to speak. Okay. So reading helped me a lot. And moreover, talking without fear of making mistake again helped me a lot. Fantastic. Okay, good, good. Thank you very much. Um, I'll see if Sangram's here yet, and if not, we'll just come to a close. Sangram? No, I think he's still stuck in traffic. Um, so let's come to a close today. Um, uh, we'll have a little look, a quick look at the, the three words, which you've all explained brilliantly and gave really good sentences for. So we've got abate, which means something um, unpleasant or severe, becoming less intense, could also mean um, in, in law, it means to reduce or remove a type of nuisance. Abdicate, which means to renounce one's throne or to fail to fulfill or undertake a responsibility or duty. And aberration, which is a divergence from the, a deviation from the normal. Um, so well done to all of you who participated today. It's been a pleasure. And uh, I hope you have a lovely evening and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you very much. And thank you, Gayathri. Thank you, Christian. Wish you two a lovely evening. Bye. Thank you.